What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, for those that don't know, uh, Bonnie, the real Bonnie Lachey, is one of the biggest trollers. I got to say, as a woman of 2024, as of today, she is going on a rampage of being a troll right now. So she, I'm going to say, I can't even say allegedly because it's, Toast. it's right here. She packed up her clothes or her belongings from her house or whatever, probably because she's moving somewhere else. All right, so this is the U-Haul, as y'all can see right here in this left bottom corner with a couch in it, right? So, boom, she decides that she's going to move to Blueface's house. Look out of here. I'm holding on the floor. I love you, daddy. Uh those were her feet, her toes on the carpet. And this is her talking to Blueface's dad. I don't know what she was saying to Blueface's dad. But anyway, after she does yeah, that, Jay went to Blueface's house to show that all of Krishan's clothes and packages are still in the same place. Now, I can only imagine Krishan is the one who told her to go check up on that. books, of course. She got her Bibles going up the stairs, child. Junior stuff. Junior stuff. The, his room is, I guess, uh, Javon room. Or as soon as you go up the stairs. Krishan's clothes. Krishan got clothes on the floor. No, Blue would have lost his damn mm -hmm. mind about them clothes. It's Krishan stuff. Krishan All right. So as you can see, everything in there was um, Krishan stuff. Now, why... I would say, why is Bonnie Lachey lying? But girl, because she's a troll. That's what she likes to do. Um, she probably didn't even get the reaction she wanted because everybody knew she was Cap. Of course, Bodine jumped in it. He called it Cap. Um, it's just been so much going on. Fergus. The daddy has something to say. You're supposed to be a thousand feet away from my house. What you doing over here? I'm pregnant with your baby. That ain't my... So he was trolling. Girl, you to be a thousand feet away from my house. What you doing over here? I'm pregnant with your baby. That ain't my. <laughs> um, so he called Cap. It's, it's given that Bonnie used him um, for clout in that little clip that she had. It's definitely given she used a little bit of clout. Um, Krishan's mom, Charlie, recently went live with her daughter, China, and agrees with Carlissa. I'm saying Krishan should have bought her a house. What? That's what Blueface mama said. I hope you don't get mad, right? She said you got enough money to put your mama in a house. What happened? <laughs> oh, Carlissa well, said that, but she wasn't lying, no, ma. She wasn't lying. For real, for real. I'm the type of person. That me and her could be the best of friends. Because see, the devil wants us to think about it. The devil wants us to hurt each other. And we're doing a damn good job in Baltimore. And it's sad. Yep. Yep. It's sad. You and Carlissa could probably do a show. And then us and y'all with the kids, we can all do a show. We only had a couple of Baltimore houses. We mostly was in beach houses or something nice. Thank but you. We only had. And, I, and that's one thing I did do. Thank you. And I thank God. And I talked to Tashiki. I think she was a little upset. But now I love her. I love all my children. But she she was kind of mad, I think, because I was never home. I was working. But wait, the children will only see me crossing the bathroom. They crossing the bathroom going to the store. I'm mean, going to school and I'm going to work. So she thought I was out in the world doing wrong. But if you have a beach house and cars in your driveway, they're not going to pay for itself. You got to maintain that. So, I mean, and that's what I did to put them in a good environment. Right. And that's what she doing right now. I told everybody we had beach houses. Ma. I just want to say that um, Krishan definitely said to her mom on the show, uh, I, I guess it's crazy in love. She was like, didn't I ask you, well, didn't I tell you I'd buy you a house? And she said, what'd you say? What'd you say? Basically, she didn't want the house. And I, I just... I think if China want her mom to have a house so bad that she should buy it 
for real. I, I do agree that Krishan definitely make enough money to buy her mom a house. But the fact that her mom is on, you know, whatever she's on and, you know, it just doesn't seem like she's responsible. She's in and out of being, you know, high and things like that. So, quite frankly, I wouldn't have bought her a house neither. Um, the lady that had me is on, you know, on something or used to be on something, whatever, because I don't know her, you know, but I wouldn't put her in a house either. So, you know, at one point, you know, at some point when this bag is the bag and, and people get to coming out, I'm letting y'all know right now. So, quote me, <laughs> but I won't be buying you nothing, nada, not a blood clot thing. Um, and nothing against her mom, like, uh, clearly I, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's beef i'm just saying i just think that she don't rock with her mom like that and that's just kind of that on that um let's get into carlissa suddenly with tmz again suddenly somehow okay kind of you know talking about blue face they're thinking he's gonna get out at the end of the month i mean is that all true well he has a court date on um 7 29 and i mean obviously the judge, you know, extended it, so I don't see why it wouldn't just be like time served. Hmm. Okay. So I think a lot of people are anticipating that that'll be the day. I am. Hopefully. Are you hoping that that will be the day? Yes. I'm, sure. <laughs> I'm planning this. I'm not gonna lie. This has been three times. Three times that TMZ has caught up with Carlissa. Either she's going there at them certain times, or they really just trying to hear what she got to say. I don't know. What y'all think? Surprise um, return home party for him so okay. i'm gonna do it that next day in faith he's not coming to that party okay i mean after i mean after he gets out is there like another like case he's facing in vegas i mean is that um they thought that he initially had violated his probation but um turns out that whatever happened was you know the time the wires was just crossed so no he didn't violate in vegas and that was handled so he should be free to go on the 29th oh my gosh okay that's good don't you think he could be making money i mean i'm be pretty back sure he's definitely missing out on the money but sometimes um sometimes one takes you know your your mental takes priority um i'm glad he got a chance to not this way but i'm glad he got a chance to like just sit down and kind of think about and evaluate everything that how it could have went um and hopefully this is something that you know is just a learning step mm -hmm. so you think I Child, whatever Jaden got coming in that's his money understand that but it don't even matter because now he owe the the club 16 million dollars and apparently it's gonna keep growing until he pays after he comes out he's gonna be a little bit changed a little bit different uh i don't think he'll ever <laughs> change. He change okay <laughs> but i'm praying that you know wisdom you know with wisdom will come in different fashion people are kind of you know talking about blue face they're thinking he's gonna get out at the end of the month i mean is that all true well, he has a court date on um, 7-29, and I mean, obviously, the judge, you know, extended it, so I don't see why it wouldn't just be, like, time served. Mm. <sighs> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl. It's a lot going on today. Y'all uh, check out my presidential video, please, because, you know, normally I don't talk about politics. But I'm going to put that link in a pinned comment. I'm about to react to baddies and the aunties. And, um... That's all I got. I will see y'all tomorrow. Love y'all. I'm back, by the way.